So I'm actually gonna do two versions of this video because it is that important. This version, I'm gonna speak directly to the camera. The second version, it's just gonna be the text so that way you guys can read it. If you want the information, I'll send it to you in an email. So this is a message for people who already own property, more so than people newly buying. However, it is useful information if you do plan to buy because it's something to know for your future. But this is for people who already own property, especially if it's family property that nobody's using. You see these signs up talking about we buy houses. You ever wonder why those signs are up? It's because they know how much profit potential is in those older properties. The profit potential that a lot of the time families who've had it for a long time don't recognize what it should be. That is generational wealth. There are a lot of people, a lot of families that actually already have generational wealth. So let me break down for you what the numbers are and what you and your family should be thinking about when it comes to property that the family already owns. So number one, maybe there's an older house. I'm just gonna give you one anecdotal situation. An older house that has not been renovated since the 1980s. So it's definitely older. Everything still works, but everything is old, right? Um, maybe it's been renovated if it's in Orleans, it may have been renovated since Katrina, but that's back in 2007. And so still some of the things have been dated a lot of the time. I said 2007 because that's when most of the renovations, the first phase of renovations happened after the storm. Um, so still things are dated, right? In that situation. Now you have this property, it's older and probably as is you know, maybe it's going to be valued at like 75000 maybe as much as $100,000. Uh, depending on the area, depending on how much square footage, it might be worth as much as 150000 as it is currently, right? Uh, without making any updates. Okay, so let's say, for example, if you put $15,000, modest renovation, because it's not really damaged, it just needs some love, $15,000 just to update everything, you can get a lot more money for that property. So let's look, for example, at an average property. Let's say it's going to go for $100,000. Somebody puts in $15,000. And depending on the sales in the area, you might be able to resell for as much as $175,000. Now let's break it down. You already own the property. So you don't have to put in $100,000 to buy the property. You put in the $15,000 only. That's your out of pocket. Put in the $15,000. Maybe you borrow it. Maybe it's a renovation loan. Or maybe you use the equity because remember, you already own the property. If it's valued right now at 100K, you go to a bank with that and you tell them, look, we want to borrow the equity, just a little bit of it, do a renovation. That's no money out of your pocket. You resell it for the 175, let's say, pay off that renovation loan, you pocket the rest. That is the reason that investors are so excited about buying your older properties. Okay, keep that in mind. Why not do that for yourself, for you and your family? Now, some people say, well, it's hard because there's multiple heirs, there's multiple parties involved, uh, and we don't agree. Okay, get, it, get a mediator. As a real estate agent, you know, I sell properties, right? I help people sell properties, I help people buy properties, but we also do a lot of mediation. We also do a lot of balancing work between various parties that are involved in a real estate transaction that can also involve multiple owners right i'll come in and present the information that way everybody feels like someone with knowledge is coming to the table and explaining how to get this done so send me a message let's start the conversation and i'll give you your numbers and i'll be the mediator to kind of guide you guys through so that you can benefit from the full profit of your generational wealth instead of letting somebody else do it peace